if you want a tool that is not just a budgeting app, but can show you your progression of your wealth journey over time and integrate with that your property journey as well in one place, then the more platform is the only one that will do that for you. When Liesl and I had our children and needing to actually have the savings there for various expenses that children always bring, you know, school fees and all that sort of thing, that was probably one of the biggest things that I guess set the light off to say, look, you need to sort this out, get it right, and then you'll be able to, you know, be able to get that visibility that you need to be able to continue forward. So I felt the weight of that responsibility then. Um, we didn't have a problem with money. We didn't have an issue with um, debt or spending or any anything like that. There was no problems we had. It was more that we just couldn't see what was going on. There was no visibility into our spending. There was we didn't know where where the expenses were really going, and how that correlated to you know what things we were spending more think more on and what we were you know spending less on, and therefore we couldn't really see the picture kind of twigged in my mind, well, if I'm going to make this work, I've actually got to be able to see where the money's going. And and then that's actually what triggered it. So the Money Smarts back then was fairly early days, I guess, but it actually could show me where all those expenses were going and therefore, you know, how much surplus we had at the end of the month. That's when it twigged that this is the way to go. But once you got it started, it doesn't take much each month to keep it up to date. You know, and, and that was great. That was really good. That's where I suppose um, it started and the feelings around how, I guess, daunting it was initially. But once you get into it, once it's in, in place, it works. I could see that we were putting this much away for particular um, goals that we were saving for and also how much we had left then to invest. Um, that was the other part of it. It's not just a, it's not just a budgeting system. The, the the more platform goes way beyond that. It, it's tracking goals. It's it's tracking your, your wealth journey. It's tracking all of that over time. The fact that you can do a checkup each month, reconcile everything, and then go forward the next month and see where you are with all the graphs and that. One of the considerations of having a change of of role in 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 a job or an income is to look at the money stretch and to see. You know, if we drop from a certain amount of income to, you know, to a, a lot less, what what is that going to do and how far out can you, you know, go before things are going to get, uh, get you into trouble? So that's been a game changer for me. That's helped me sort of see, oh, we can actually project out here and, and based on our discretionary spending or, you know, mandatory spending, whatever, whatever you want to call it, you can actually adjust that and then see how much extra you've got to go before things become a problem. Um, so that's money stretch. I think that's that's a that's a brilliant part of of the platform. It gives us a, a sense of uh, confidence that um, it's under control, particularly with the offset account increasing each month. You you have that security, I guess, that confidence to know that um, this system's actually working for us. We can see clarity and into the distance where we're going and it makes sense where we're going now. It, it is uh, a, a positive change to probably where we were, uh, where we didn't know where we were going. And this just gives us that, that, I guess, yeah, straight line towards our wealth goals and also to see the properties sort of chugging along as well in the background. Um, the other thing would be the graphs uh, and seeing it vi visually is a big help to me. I, I like seeing that. So I think what you guys have done now with the, you know, the wealth tracking gauges and, and the, the spending and the, and the income gauges is is awesome. Like, but that's really where, where, where it wants to be, right? And because it's based on actual data from your yourself, like then you know it's not just a fake. You know, it's not a fake gauge. They're just ticking along going, oh, yeah, 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 okay. You know, it's actually, it's actually, uh, I know it's averages, but it's it's ticking over and you can see it positive. Now, obviously, as things change, like if, if we um, don't have certain income or whatever, then certain things will change and you can adjust those then by looking at the gauges and go, oh, yeah, it's going red or it's going orange. And then you can adjust that section to, to maybe get the, 
you know, the debt under control again or whatever. But, um, yeah, definitely a positive psychological benefit seeing those, uh, those gauges tick up as each month goes along. Very good. <laughs>